This is my favorite clip this week. We've talked before about how Republicans will vote against the bill and say, I'm against wasteful spending. The bill passes and then they take credit in their state, in their district for the things that are funded by that bill. Well, uh, Jim DeFade, DeFede, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly in one of these iterations. He's an investigative reporter for CBS News Miami. He absolutely humiliated Republican Congresswoman Maria Elvira Salazar. Salazar voted against she voted against the Chips and Science Act, a great piece of legislation. And then she goes to her district and she presents checks with money that comes from that very bill. Uh, Jim DeFede called her out. Total humiliation. She implodes, doesn't know what to say. This is beautiful journalism. Last month you were at FIU and you presented a check for six hundred fifty thousand dollars to help small businesses at FIU. But you voted against the bill that gave the money that you then signed a check for and handed and had a photo op, the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2023, right? You voted against that bill. I, I Right now, you have to give me more details, but I do know that every time I have an opportunity to. I just don't remember, Jim. Did I vote again? It's not. I don't know. I, what are the details of that? Bring money to my constituents. I do so. I well, just did four hundred thousand dollars. But look, well, let's you, go. But you voted against. You voted against the Chips and Science Act, right? Listen, I right now I need to. I need to. That's a pretty straightforward question. She's not answering. Ask my staff. But you know, what do no, we look you, at you the forty million dollars that a, I have brought to this community? No, what's, what's, Aren't you proud of me? Aren't you proud of the forty million dollars that I brought? Much, but how Aren't much? you proud that I wrote the Dignity Act? Haven't I? Aren't, let's talk about the America's wait, Act. Wait, 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 Mark. Let me one second. Tell me. The money that you talk about, the forty million dollars that you bring back to the district. Sometimes that money comes from bills that you voted against. You voted against the CHIPS Act, and yet you praise the fact that the South Florida Climate Resilience Tech Hub is going to be started in Miami. Yeah, it's called being a brazen, opportunistic hypocrite. That's what it's called. Right. You voted against the infrastructure bill and you talk about all the money that comes back to the airport. So at the same time that you're taking credit for the money that you bring back to the district in Washington, you're voting against these projects on party line votes. <laughs> Listen, I that was, I think, last cycle. I can. Dude, my hypocritical vote was before. Now I'm doing something. Now I'm taking advantage of this. Jim, what what's wrong with what I'm doing? Please. This is very these are nasty questions, Jim. I don't really remember right now, but just look let's look at the America's Act, which is what I'm gonna vote. So you don't want like to explain why I, you I vote really against cannot, things. I mean right now, and I'm not trying to be a politician, is so many bills that I've introduced that I know yeah. that no, many these are of bills them that you voted me, against. The, that yeah. I understand. And but it's, it's okay. Sometimes I vote bills. and sometimes I don't. But let's look at the positive. Let's look at the forty million dollars. Out of rod, and let's look at the. If it was a positive thing to bring that money to her district, why didn't she vote in favor of it? And this is not the only example of this. We've got a bunch of Republicans doing this. They want credit for being fiscal conservatives and opposing government spending, and then they want credit. And they want to get reelected by saying, hey, look at this money that I brought into the district. You voted against bringing the money to the district. Really great work there by Jim DeFede. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He did such a good job. If I if it's DeFede, 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 Jim, absolutely fantastic stuff. I'm sure I will get the correct name pronunciation very soon. I'm very particular about my coffee and our sponsor Trade Coffee helps you do more in 2024. If you're like me, coffee might be part of your routine, maybe a factor in your productivity. Check out Trade as your destination for better coffee at home. Subscribe to Trade and start the year with amazing coffee. You'll discover new favorites. You'll support more than 55 local roasters across the country and you will upgrade your morning and the best part is you can personalize all of it from the type of coffee you get, how often you get it delivered. They have decaf. If that's your preference, I recently got Orin's Colombian from New York, sweet and inviting, full bodied notes of pine. I actually love pine. Who knew pine is great. Every time I get a new shipment from trade, the quality and the taste is top notch. The convenience is it's just great. The coffee comes to my door instead of having to go find them. Whether you already know what you like or you're new to specialty coffee and want some help, trade just makes it easy to discover new coffees you will like. 
Jumpstart the year. Sign up for a trade subscription. Right now, Trade is offering a free bag with select subscription plans when you visit drinktrade.com/pacman. The link is down below.